Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and this is the live fight reaction for Kosei Tanaka versus Ryochi Taguchi. I am tired. We just did the Jonah Carroll versus Tevin Farmer live fight reaction. We decided to stay up and catch Asian boxing. Right now, we're in the fifth round of what's been a competitive fight thus far between the two uh, Japanese fighters. Let me make sure my settings are in order here because I'm getting out of control sometimes. I want to make sure I'm able to read my comments as well. Public, okay, we're public, we're good there. We're good on that front. Make sure I get my comments pulled up so I can see what you guys are saying to me as the fight taking place. Both guys are good though. Like Tanaka, he's doing his thing. He punches really, really well and switches angles really well. That's what I like about him. Um, he's very good at fainting and freezing um, who he's got in front of him. SSB28 is in the building. I don't know why it's not telling me how many views I have here. Whatever. What's up, guys? How you doing? All right, we're good. We're set up here now. Yeah. Set up. Taguchi's beginning to uh, cut the distance on um on Tanaka, and and hopefully for his sake, for Tanaka's sake, he can get some space for his shots. Cause uh, when 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 Taguchi can't cut the distance, uh, Tanaka has has his way. He has his way, and he has fun doing. It. What's up, guys? How you doing? What, what do you guys think of the fight so far? Okay. I think it's pretty good stuff. Uh, both guys do f fight their style really well. Um, boom! Tanaka came with a straight right and then slipped right under it. That's good. That's good. That, that that's a sweet Santa box right there to throw a lead right, duck and slip under. Now, this is good stuff we're seeing. If you if you ain't watch these Japanese boxing cards, you're really missing out. Some good stuff. All right, so round six, midway point of the fight. What's well, been a, a really good fight so far. Um, and Tanaka, good jab there by Tanaka. And then he makes Taguchi miss a couple punches, and then he takes about two steps back, and now he's going backwards. And and, and Tanaka, he, he can fight going backwards, and, and, and he sets things up for himself when he goes backwards. Um, you, you take a step for you take a step backwards to go two steps forward, and um, he can pick he can pick this guy apart from the outside. He has a clear advantage in um, speed and reflexes and athletic ability. And yes, SSB twenty eight, no doubt about it. This is definitely better than the last couple of Showtime cards, hands down, no doubt about it. Um, and honestly, I, I mean. This is what boxing is about. These are two guys who are um, highly skilled, uh, evenly matched. They both do different things really well, but you can see that, you know, while one guy might be more talented than the other, um, it's a competitive fight. Yes. Uh, uh, what's up, Travis? Uh, Raymond Ford looked really good tonight. Um, obviously, he got tagged a little bit, but, you know, his – it's very easy for someone's defense to be leaky and, and not so good in their first couple of fights. But, you know, I would agree with you. He looked really good for a guy in his pro debut. And the guy he fought, you know, was a lot better – was better than his record would indicate. You know? But, yeah, Tanaka. Tanaka does a really good job changing angles, whether it be through going to the opposite side, opposite shoulder to Gucci or – Darting in and darting out, darting left to right. He, I've seen a, a, a number of ways he changes his punching angles, and I, I like that about his fight game.
Why is that fight, Scout? Why why do they stay away from them? Is there a reason for that? I actually don't even know, so you could educate me on that. Yeah. Why is that? Inoue, Inoue didn't want to smoke a wrong beside though. That, 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 did, that is true. Pissed me off. It's a boisterous crowd they got over there in Japan right now. The fighters are tough as nails. They hit extremely hard, too. Usually smaller weight guys stay away from them. Yeah, I mean, they are they are pretty tough. I mean, if Rong Vasai, I mean, you got guys like Rong Vasai, um, Amnat, Ruin Rong was another guy that was uh, was tough on McWilliams Arroyo. I mean, I know over Puerto Rican, I'm just saying, like. So we're here in round seven, uh, Kosi Tanaka versus Ryochi Taguchi in Japan, okay? It's been a good fight. Um, I, wow, nice uppercut to set up the right hand by uh, Tanaka. Yeah, Tanaka clearly has the advantage in foot speed, and he's using it really well by, by moving. And what's funny is, like, people never give the Japanese, I, I would say this, man, you'd be surprised if you watch enough of these Japanese fights, how how, how slick and how amazingly skilled defensively with their footwork that these these Japanese fighters are. Like, I mean, you look at a guy like uh, Nayo Anoi, you look at a guy like um, Kenshiro, uh, right, right here with Tanaka. Look, look at the way he sets up his punches, um, punching angles by the way he moves. I mean, the Japanese don't get enough credit for their ring craft. But credit to, credit to Takuchi. He's, he's hanging in there. He's 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 hanging in there. That's true. I mean, you're right. They're, they're literally fighting until they can eat. You're right. And that's why Ron Besides is cuffing. Like, Ron Besides, like, you know how sometimes when, when, when these American fighters, like, when, when they're fighting each other, and they're like, yeah, you know, I'm going to beat this guy because I'm cuffed from a different cloth. I'm a different breed. Like, literally, like, these Thailand guys, they really are cuffed from a different cloth and they're a different breed. Um, eating rats and stuff. Like, I saw a video of Ron Besides eating a rat. Disgusting. But that, 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 that's, that's where they come from. <laughs> from the hood. Well, what did AJ Boner say? I'm, I'm doing it for the hood. I remember when, he, remember when Pacquiao got the decision, he's like, I want to thank the whole hood for coming out here. I beat that boy. Ooh. Tanaka's beginning to back Taguchi up. Luckily for Taguchi, uh, he, he kind of put his head, he put Tanaka's head down and Stop the barrage that was coming at him, and now he's trying to hold his ground because Tanaka is beginning to push him back. <laughs> he wasn't cut from that cloth. I mean, yeah, man, the the the, the tie are tough, man. They're, they're under they're underrated in the toughest department. I just love I just love when I hear like um two like guys from America when they fight each other like prospects and they're like yeah I'm gonna beat him and they say why are you gonna beat him because I'm coming from a different cloth I'm a different breed he ain't fought no more like me before <laughs> I don't know why when they say come from a different cloth and he's a different breed it's just too funny to me.
it gets me every time. Like the Tevin Farmer, like Tevin Farmer started talking about, yeah, you know, I can beat Javon today. I'm just, I'm just, I'm from Philly. Come from a different cloth. I'm a different breed. Like, like I'd probably die of laughter. But yeah, we're here going into the eighth round of a, a really entertaining fight, spirited fight between uh, Kozi Tanaka and uh, Ryochi Taguchi. It's a really overall good fight. Uh, Tanaka has begun to show his class as the fight wears on. He's shown why he's the champ. He's shown why um, he is that guy in this fight, at least. And he's he fights at he fights with a good rhythm. He fights with a good awareness of who he is as a fighter. You, you don't see him try to fight outside of himself. But man, the subtleties, the way he just the way he just dips that shoulder, just shoots the uppercut. You know, does he, he's doing a really good job, man. Good double jab there by Taguchi. See, good, good subtle stuff there by um, Tanaka. Uh, he was getting maneuvered to go backwards by Taguchi. He threw a touch jab, spun off of him, and brought him back to the center of the ring, which is where he wants him ultimately. That's where he's going to win the fight. Good defense there by Tanaka. What do y'all think? For those, for those of y'all that are watching, what do y'all think? We, we got winning so far. TSS at dark, 3.36 a.m. here on here on here in the East Coast in America. Good body shot there by Tanaka. Oh my god, a really good three punch combination. Tanaka is dominating this dude. He looks like the goods. I mean, Taguchi was holding his ground early in the fight, but oh my god. As this fight was worn on, Tanaka has begun to show his class. You know, they, they, they say in boxing, class tells over time, it shows over time. And you're, we're beginning to see his, his class. Man, he's right, right, right now, he's looking classier than a. Then a three-piece suit and a glass of, of Merlot wine on a Saturday night. With a, with a New York cheesecake on the side at a five-star restaurant. Hmm. Mm. Good right-handed by Tanaka. Wow, he kept his elbows real tight there and blocked the shot. Good job, good stuff from Tanaka. Really good stuff. The fighters in South Asia don't have a lot of access to American gym equipment, so they use trees and sticks to strengthen their bones, and they become extremely heavy-handed bone density. That's a good point, man. Uh, I never, well, I never really knew that. I just assumed it's the same everywhere, but um, that would make a lot of sense. I would explain my wrong side so freaking tough. Apart from the fact that he's fighting for his lunch. <laughs> I mean, Tanaka is beginning to outclass homeboy. He's, 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 he's beginning to outclass Taguchi. Every round, round by round, you're seeing a separation. And 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 this is really good stuff. Like, I'm actually happy I stayed up for this. This is, this, this is better than a lot of stuff I've seen recently. And to think of that, if I, if I, if I would have went to sleep, I would have I missed this fight. I would have not heard anything about it because, you know, the LDBC is going to make no videos about this and many American boxing channels won't even cover this. But uh, this is good. This is kind of reignited my uh, passion for the flyweight division. Because I haven't literally since Roman and Estrada and Quadras and Nick Williams and Arroyo moved up. The only fighter I've really watched consistently at 112 is Ken Shiro, who I like. I rate him. All right, so round nine. Uh, Kosi Tanaka versus Ryochi Taguchi. Tanaka is beginning to dominate, dominate this man. Straight up domination. Ooh, is that double uppercut? Was that double uppercut left hook to the body? Hmm. 
the way this man is throwing these punches, sitting down on him, going to the body, and then darting out quickly before Taguchi can get any punches off is just beautiful boxing. It's beautiful stuff. Unbelievable stuff. That is so true. So we're, we're the one percenters. We're the one percenters of God, people who watch this fight. That is so true. I mean, I'm a deep. I mean, I wasn't an amateur fighter, but I, I mean, I train to stay in shape. I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm decent. I got good footwork and combinations and whatnot. I want to spar soon. Like I get, I, I gotta, when I get some money, because I'm broke as a mofo right now. When I get some money, I, I need to buy a mouthpiece. When I get a mouthpiece, I'm going to spar. I haven't sparred in a year. I mean, it, I mean, I've been training like by myself when I go to the gym. And, you know, I'm always shadow boxing at the house by myself. And when I'm walking around, and I probably look like I'm a crazy man around town. But I want to spar soon. I haven't sparred in over a year. So yeah, no doubt about it. I'm on a spar soon. But I will be. Yeah, you're right. I don't think I'll be. I don't think I'll ever be as able to fight as good as I can talk because I've had a lot of I've had a lot of practice with that talking. That's actually true. You're right. Um, fight scout. Like now, now that you're saying that, like I'm actually like. My mind right now watching this fight is so clear. Like, it's so clear for me to decipher who's winning the fight because I don't have uh, Pauli Malinaji or Mauro Ronaldo yelling at me, telling me that the, that the guy that's on Showtime's payroll is winning the fight, you know? I can just see that, like, early in the start with Taguchi and Tanaka, you know, it was, it was you know, I thought Tanaka had the more eye-catching shots, but it was a bit more even. But as the fighters were on, Tanaka's been dominating this dude. Get right hand up top there by Tanaka. You know, one of the – it's crazy because I think people don't understand this about the smaller weight classes, particularly at 112, 115, that range. When you get when you get to the weight classes, you're seeing a lot of punches. You're seeing a lot of leather being thrown at you. So when I see a guy who is, is good defensively and isn't really getting hit that much, um, when I see someone who's not getting hit that much at the weight, you know, I, I always find them impressive. So that, that's why I admire good defensive fighters who have fought at those weight classes, like, you know, to take it back in the day to, to a, a great Mexican fighter like Miguel Canto, probably the most underrated Mexican fighter of all time. Miguel Canto was a really good defensive fighter at the weight. Uh, Juan Francisco Estrada, a good uh, counter puncher and a, and a decent defensive fighter at the weight. I'm, I'm looking at Tanaka right now, and, I mean, I haven't watched any of his other fights, to be honest with you, but from what I'm seeing here, this guy, not, he's, he's barely getting touched unless – and the only time he really gets touched, touched is when he fights this guy in the pocket and tries to exchange with him. Other than that, um, he's doing his thing. And I would, I would agree with my man. Uh, Tanaka's hand speed is too much for him. Really? Okay, well, that's good, man. You're in the right place. Um. Uh, you're definitely in the right place, man. There's um, a lot of good fights, a lot of good fighters. A lot of, I mean, boxing is hard to follow. If you try to follow the whole sport, which, I mean, I, I can't even do sometimes, um, it can be a bit hard because there's a lot of weight classes and it can get, be confusing, but um, you're in the right place, man. There's a lot of good channels here on YouTube. I mean, I, I like to think that mine is one of them. Um, Uh, Taguchi's trying to come forward and press the action, but but uh, Tanaka's doing a good job of just staying calm and composed. Tanaka's hand speed is too much. Really. Yes, Marquez was an amazing counter puncher. Um, his front foot game was some of the best you'll see in boxing. Um, and that's why I like Estrada so much. Estrada, in my opinion, reminds me of... Um, Estrada actually reminds me a lot of uh, Marquez. That's why I like him. 
Well, um, National Memorial Gardens. I used to, um, I mean, I haven't, like, I train by myself because I, I've been boxing for so long. I've, I've been boxing long enough to know how to train myself well enough to just be in shape. And I know how to, I know how to train myself well enough to just be in shape. And that, that, that's really all I use it for now. But um, there was a time a couple of years ago where I was training um, regularly in the gym, sparring, mouthpiece and all. And um, I've been punched in the face and I punched people in the face and um, I just took it all in and, and I learned boxing that way. Absolutely. And there's no reason Marquez shouldn't get any death into all of things. Yeah. Well, you know what's funny? So I've had my moments where I've been like biased towards fighters I like. Like I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like um, I, I love Tyson Fury. So sometimes if you hear me talk about Tyson Fury, I might come across as biased in my videos. Um, but I am actively working on not like two things. Uh. Uh, not being biased and not talking down on fighters. Like, those are two things I've had problems with in the past at times. But, um, yeah, LDBC, they're horrible. Really, really bad. Yeah, like today, today it's funny. Like I was at my house all day today. I didn't do much except watch the fights and eat and sleep. But tomorrow, I'm gonna have to go work out because I ate McDonald's and yeah, gotta make sure I keep keep the hand skills sharp. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know, man. Like, uh, Taguchi, I think he's pressing the action just enough to. Maybe go a couple more rounds, but uh, if Tanaka uses his footwork, steps around him, and, and throws a punch with authority, um, I think he can get him out of there. I think he can. He's shown the he's shown the ability to to, to create. They don't. I don't know why because. Japanese have two things. They have they have honor and they have general principle, and and and, and they go by those things. They they uh they honor what Chris Eubank Senior likes to call the Warriors Code. Taguchi's began to uh, find some some punches around uh, Tanaka's guard. Good right hand there from Tanaka. See, he, and he stepped around him, and he, and he created a nice little angle for himself. Hmm. Oh, the winner of this fight is gonna get a chance to fight Floyd Mayweather Jr. Well, that's a, that's a good joke. That's funny, but um, they actually are they're gonna be disqualified automatically for being uh, from having a chance to fight him because they're actually boxers. So the last two fights he hasn't even fought a boxer. Hmm. Good defense there by Tanaka on the pocket. Mm, tight defense. Tanaka's got real tight defense in the pocket. Man, doubled up on the right hand, stepping backwards. Yeah, if he if he can just find the right shot and sit down on it, I think he can really get Taguchi out of there. But Taguchi's holding his ground. He's doing it. He's he's doing what he has to do to survive and have success. Um, Credit to Tanaka. He like like right there. He doubled. He doubled up on the left foot, going to the body, and the guy immediately tied him up because there was the gas was taken right out the tank. Right out the tank.
Man, this, yeah, I like Tanaka, man. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a fan. I might, I might, I might start on um, doing these Japanese cards. They're fun. They're really fun. Cause you don't know what the hell anybody is saying in the stands. There's no commentary. Yo, Tanaka's nose is bleeding. So Taguchi probably caught him with something. No doubt. I'll, I'll definitely do that National Memorial Gardens. Thank you. In the US, UK, and even Canada to a certain extent, those fighters don't have that warrior's code. No, they don't they don't have the warrior's code. Ask uh ask uh Mikey Garcia when he fought Salito. Ask uh Nicholas Walters when he fought um Lomachenko. Tanaka and Ha Tanaka are good fighters indeed. Yeah, no, they're really good fighters. I'm happy I'm, ha I'm happy I tuned into this card because you know sometimes you get so caught up in all the BS in like American slash North American boxing that you forget that boxing is bigger than just Showtime, PBC, The Zone, and Top Rank. There actually is a boxing besides that. So I'm happy I'm watching this card. It's really good stuff. All right, so the 12th and final round between Posty Tanaka and Ryochi Taguchi. Good stuff. It's been a really good fight. And Tanaka is going for the gusto. He's throwing these punches with that extra boom, and he's twisting the shoulders a little bit harder. Yeah, he's doing the trading, and, and Tanaka's bullying. He's trying to bully him. He's pushing him back and throwing hard shots off the push. And Tanaka's still very strong and still very fresh here in the 12th round. And look what he is doing right there. I don't know if you all just saw that. He he leaned right into Taguchi. I'm talking, about, I'm, talking, I'm talking about Tanaka. He leaned into Taguchi. He took a subtle step to his left and then ripped the right hook to the body. It's like subtle stuff like that is what makes fighters really good. When when you can create those angles on the inside. You know, I wasn't a big fan of Andre Ward. I couldn't stand him. Uh, I'm one of the least fair fighters of all time. But that's one thing that he made a career off of was being able to change those angles on the inside and get those punches you can't see. Man, Taguchi is game. I give I give him all the credit. No, he's, he's he's been a game opponent tonight. Now Tanaka's coming right up the middle. Ooh, this man is like two punches. Mm. Left hook, right hand by Tanaka. One minute left here in the twelfth round. Taguchi hanging hanging tough and try and just throwing these shots, trying to get this guy's attention, to get him off of him, go to 12 rounds. But Tanaka, Tanaka's not having it. He said, I want some smoke. Anytime this dude gets touched with a flush shot, he immediately ties him up, which is smart at this point in the fight, because you're not gonna win, but you don't get stopped. You're Taguchi. Last five seconds, they're trading right there in the, in the, around the middle of the ring. And there you have it, 12 rounds of high-intensity boxing between Tanaka and Taguchi. Just overall a good fight for the flyweight division, a good fight for the Japanese boxing scene. Uh, just really good stuff. You know, I would definitely say that uh, Tanaka won that fight. I didn't score it, but he definitely won that fight. Uh, he landed the more impressive shots. He... Uh, at times was bullying Taguchi, uh, and as the fight wore on, his class began to show. You saw him uh, stepping around uh, the front foot of Taguchi, uh, 
landing clean flush shots. You saw him jabbing his head back, up jabs, uppercuts. You saw defense. You saw overall just a complete fight from uh, Tanaka and, and just, you know, a really impressive performance by him. I, I, I'm going to be keeping more tabs on him and just the rest of the Japanese boxing scene. Me too. You know, we're, we're going to we're gonna raise our hand here on True School Sports and we're going to admit that we haven't been keeping a close eye on the Japanese boxing scene and that's a disgrace. That's a disgrace to boxing. That's a disgrace to you guys because you, you're watching this fight now and it's a great fight. And, you, you know, y'all, y- a couple of y'all have told me that the this fight right here is better than some stuff you see on Showtime and PBC. So why should we focus on, on all the bad in boxing? Because sometimes those cards don't deliver when you got a lot of good right here going on in Japan. A lot of fun fights going on. I mean, based on skills? Oh my god. I- All right, so there you have it. Tanak- Koshi Tanaka gets the uni- unanimous decision, and he improves his record. By, uh, what is it now? His record is 13-0. and 0. So he stays undefeated. He stays pushing on towards bigger and better things. The 23-year-old is, 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 is doing himself a lot of good in his boxing career. And, um, you know, I, I like to see him as he continues to push on for bigger and better things. You know, when you look at some of the names uh, – you know, in his weight class, you got guys like uh, Artem Delekian, you got guys like him, you got Charlie Edwards, who I think he would absolutely spark and destroy. Um, I, I, I believe Ken Shiro is the weight class above him or below him. I don't know, 108. I think Ken Shiro is 108, but let me make sure. Ken Shiro 108, light flyweight. Because I'd love to see him fight Ken Shiro. Yeah, him versus Ken Shiro would be like, like one of the best fights to make in all of boxing. Um, I don't. I mean, I don't, I'm not gonna see here and act like I know a bunch about Ken Shiro and Tanaka, but I've seen Ken Shiro fight. I've seen uh, Tanaka fight, and the winner of that could crack the top ten pound for pound. All right. So um, look, guys, it's it's been. A hell of a night. I really enjoyed um, talking to you guys. That's a, hell, this man just won the UEFA Champions League. That, that shit is bigger than the UEFA Champions League trophy. What the hell? Anyway, um, it's been a great time talking to you guys. You know, we, we, we've been on live for like seven hours. I am beat. I am tired. As you can see my, my voice and my demeanor. I have to get to sleep, so... I'm going to go brush my teeth. I'm going to get some sleep. I'm going to rest up real, real, real good. And we're going to be back live in roughly, I'm going to say 12 to 14 hours. We'll be live again for Earl Spence Jr. versus Mikey Garcia. We're going to watch the public execution that is going to be known as that fight. So, uh, yeah, it's been great talking to you guys. Uh, we'll be talking more about uh, Koshi Tanaka. Uh, in his fight with Taguchi later on, as well as uh, Kento Hatanaka, who will find an undercard. But uh, yeah, take care, guys. God bless. Uh, you can love me, you can hate me. I'm just kidding, being it. So until next time, take care, guys.